class 10th geography in this class we are discussing some of the characteristics of indian monsoon southwest monsoon look at this point characteristics of monsoons the first point says monsoons are erratic in nature second is monsoons are unevenly spread and sporadic it differs from state to state the rainfall range differs from one area to another area so it said it is said the second point monsoons are unevenly spread and sporadic monsoon rains are orographic in nature this word orographic means that windward side brings heavy rainfall and the opposite side of the mountain which which get less rainfall is called as your orographic rainfall windward side heavy rainfall and rain shadow area less rainfall that is that's the meaning of this orographic mountains plays a dominant role in it then monsoons bring rain in summer <coughs> most of the rain occur during the time of summer that from the month of june monsoon rains determine the economic state of the country by controlling the agricultural prosperity this is one of the important characteristics of monsoon 70% of indian farmers are depending on indian monsoon for rain for their agricultural activity in the country and some of the rain in india occurs due to tropical depressions the Dep depressions are very frequent in bay of bengal and arabian sea both are responsible in bringing the cyclonic rainfall occurs this is one characteristics of characteristics of the monsoon so you have to remember that the characteristics of characteristics of monsoon means six points then the next why thor is a desert this is another important part of the indian climate climate chapter thor is a desert is because there is very little summer rain less than 25 cm annually the arabian sea branch of the southwest monsoon does not give much rainfall as the arabalis which are parallel to these winds do not form barriers to intercept them third point bay of bengal branch of the southwest monsoon has little rainfall it is situated on rain shadow area so it receives less rainfall from bay of bengal then other points are that humidity is very low in summer the moisture evaporates before it could rain and it lacks water resource less vegetation in these areas you will find less vegetations so these are some of the factors which are responsible for the formation of thor desert in western part of rajasthan then you will find in indian climate the distribution of rainfall the distribution of rainfall when it says the regions of 200 to 200 cm and 400 cm rainfall areas 200 to 400 cm rainfall areas means this region all these regions of uh, western coastal plain totally to 200 to 400 cm rainfall then northeastern region also gets more than 200 to 400 cm rainfall these are both one is from arabian sea branch the other one is from bay of bengal bay of bengal sea branch brings heavy rainfall in northeastern then your another area is regions like your odisha and odisha tamil nadu odisha andhra pradesh tamil nadu they are they are having the range of 150 to 200 cm tamil nadu around 100 cm 100 to 150 cm rainfall this region then the areas like uttar pradesh 100 cm 100 150 cm rainfall in bihar all these regions are having the uh, heavy rainfall areas these are 100 to 200 within that range and these are 50 cm rainfall jammu and kashmir 50 cm rajasthan you will find western rajasthan below 
25 and eastern Rajasthan you will find 50 cm rainfall and total this plain land northern plain you will find 100 to 150 somewhere and somewhere you will also get 200 sometime it receives also 200 cm rainfall so these are the areas of distribution of rainfall in India besides it you have to prepare for this uh, retreating monsoon in India this is the period this is a transition period in between the withdrawal of south southwest monsoon this is the period of withdrawal of southwest monsoon from Himalayas and it is during this period you will find it's a the wind direction is from land to sea and weather climate in India during the time of October November is very much clear sky low humidity and the weather becomes fresh and pleasant in the north while the air becomes almost stagnant in the Deccan and the sultry and oppressive weather is referred to October heat this is called as October heat the term sometime in exam you will get what do you mean by October heat generally occur in the month of October very oppressive condition heat oppressive heat because it during this period the position of the Sun shifted from Tropic of Cancer towards towards equator and so some of the during this time also due to extreme conditions oppressive weather conditions you will find a low pressure is developed and in from Bay of Bengal some of the super cyclones occur during this time October November and a retreating monsoon brings only rainfall in Tamil Nadu coast Andhra Pradesh some parts of Andhra Pradesh and Kerala these are the regions which receives rainfall from retreating monsoon particularly Tamil Nadu receives heavy rainfall from heavy rainfall from the uh, retreating monsoon okay you go through all these points which we have discussed today